Here's the other question, Minister. Saskatchewan wants you to take tougher measures. They're asking, you should cut off transfers to BC. And, and there's a rationale because your government has already been prepared to withhold money from provinces like Saskatchewan from the promised $2 billion low carbon economy fund if they don't come on board your government's climate change agreement. Raising the question, why is your government willing to withhold funds from Saskatchewan if they don't join your policy idea on carbon and not withhold funds from British Columbia if, as your government has said, they're not complying with the law? This uh, idea of threats is not helpful. We're instead going to be focused on, on getting the project done. I want Canadians to know that we will do that and do it in a way that uh, addresses the issues, which we've done through things like the Oceans Protection Plan. Uh, this but, is our uh, approach, and, and we think it's the, the appropriate way to get forward. But, Minister, I would buy the idea that you don't think threats are appropriate if you hadn't already threatened Saskatchewan to cut them off from one government fund and not BC. So why threaten to cut off one province if they don't comply to a liberal idea, a government idea, and not another province. I'm just trying to figure out because it doesn't seem to me there's any logical consistency there. If you really want this pipeline, you put your shoulder to it the way you're doing for your price on carbon, and they don't come on board, same threat to Saskatchewan you make to BC, cut them off. Suffice it to say, Evan, that I don't see those two things in an, as analogous. 